Well, are your tires summer ready? Thousands of crashes are connected to troubled tires each year in the U.S. But it turns out there is no law stating you can't be sold a tire that's unsafe or even rotting. Did you know that? I didn't. Jackie Kucher is live tonight with information you need to know. Jackie. Yeah, Dad, that's exactly why we wanted to do the story. Kind of scary when you think about it. The first thing you want to do is look for this number on the tire. It's right around the rim. This one's 4707, so it's not an expiration date, but it is an indication of how old it is. It was it was made in the 47th week of 07, so that means that tire is nearly eight years old at this point. You don't want to be, go beyond five or six years, so this one's in danger. Flat tires, uh, low air, the tread getting low. These are the sort of issues Peter Boffenmeyer tries to avoid, so he keeps a close eye on his wheels. His are pretty new. Yeah, I do a lot of driving. But Brittany Summers' car does more sitting than driving. It kind of sounded like, um, kind of like a helicopter uh, noise, just because it was um, like a whoosh kind of noise over nice. and over. It didn't. Um, like blow out, but it was close. Turns out a tire deteriorates just as much when it sits unused as when it's on the roadway. When I saw it, it was actually really alarming. If you drive a lot, you'll see the tread go first, but occasional drivers have to worry about the rubber. That's why it's dry rotted. The rubber is not designed to last forever. This is Sammy Walker taking a look at two used tires we bought. This is almost a new tire. Even though it looks old. The newer looking one we spent more on is actually rotting despite the good tread. And if a tire defect causes a crash, don't assume you won't be held responsible. Yes, uh, in fact, they may come after you. Attorney Chris Byers says buying used tires is risky business for many reasons. You don't know in its prior life how the tire has been used, whether it's been overloaded, underinflated, under, overinflated, underinflated. Uh, whether or not someone had bad driving habits. Peter says until now he's focused on tread and how the tires actually look, but now he'll be looking a lot closer at the rubber and the date on the tire. It would be helpful to know. Um, definitely look forward to that uh, next time I'm looking for new tires. And you know, if you look really closely here, you can see quite a bit of cracking, but most of it's actually happening on the inside. So the best advice tonight from that expert is if you have any concerns, go and see a very trusted mechanic. And if you want to buy used, used tires, make sure you do your homework. We're live tonight. Jackie Kutcher, Fox 45 News. Back to you.